Welcome to Ask Amy. I'm sorry for starting um, late. I can't get my camera to work on my laptop on Facebook. So trying this on my phone. Uh, we'll see, see how this works. So today I have a question from Thomas. And Thomas says, I'm starting work in a coffee shop in a few weeks after having been out of the work loop for quite a while. I'm super capable of doing the job and made a great impression during my trial shift, but I'm gravitating more toward dreading starting work than being excited. And I'd like to be excited because it's a really exciting new experience. I feel the need in the workplace to be perfect or get everything right the first time, which is exhausting. Added to this is the worry that the stress of working full time, coupled with the pressure I put on myself to be perfect, will burn out my adrenals and further impair my performance. So, um, thanks for this, Thomas. And it's you know it's easy to see and to really just have so much empathy for you reading this. Like, it it sounds exhausting. It does to to have to feel like you 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 know have to get everything right the first time just that level of kind of perfectionism like what's going to happen and what if i mess up and and then worrying that being at work is going to be so stressful that it's going to make you sick and make you not be able to perform you know as well as you know you can so it is really kind of easy to see and feel all that that's going on for you and i think you know often we we hear something about how we work. We get a sense of, okay, I know, clearly you know this isn't 100% this job that you maybe haven't even started yet. At the time of writing this question, you hadn't started it yet. It's not the job doing that. There is no job yet. You know, there is no job. Even when there is a job, it's not the job doing it. So I know you know that, you know, everybody has a sense of that to varying degrees. And you clearly know that when you kind of wrote this and wanted to look at it a little bit. But what I want to do here today is nudge us like all the way, all the way, because knowing that it's not the job, like knowing that our mind has a, has a role in this, but still having kind of one foot in, yeah, I think it's the job. Not gonna, not gonna do very much for us at all. So, or, or being in that place where it's like, yeah, I see that my mind is thinking about the job and that's creating all my stress. My mind thinking about the job. Mm -mm, it's not that either. It's not. Yes, your mind is thinking. And yes, your mind is thinking and attaching a story about a job in there. But I really wanna push us to see this as deeply and profoundly as it really is. What you're experiencing, Thomas, zero to do with a job. Zero. Nada. Not at all. Not. Not about the job at all. It's a busy mind. It's a busy mind that's, you know, thinking about a lot of stuff, worrying about a lot of stuff, thinking I have to get this all right. And what if I get more stressed out and what's going to happen and going through all of that. It's a busy mind that you're feeling 100% of it. And, and this is honest to God, a side note in the whole thing. And as a side note, that busy mind happens to be thrown in some content about a job. Kind of huge, right? So see if you can get a sense of that. Like, it's just a mind. It could be thinking about a doctor's appointment you have next week. It could be thinking about the bills that are due. It could be thinking about something exciting and wonderful. It doesn't matter. The about isn't really part of it. I mean, that's a side note, honestly. So this has zero to do with your job, Thomas. It has zero to do with what's going on. It even has zero to do with the fact that you're a perfectionist or that you're a worrier or any of that. That's no, you aren't. It's that your mind is just going and minds don't just go and not tell a story. When minds go, they like to tell a story. They like to bring in details and they like to make it all about us. And they, they, they go there and this, this illusion, truly this illusion is brought to life in such a huge real way that we have a really hard time really grasping, oh, when my mind is running and I'm worrying or, or you know, thinking about all these things that might happen, oh yeah, that's not about life out there. That's about life in here period. So hard to see through that sometimes. But honestly, Thomas, it's like, um, it's like if you woke up in the morning, beautiful day, blank slate, nothing's happened. You're just you waking up in the morning and you turn on a movie 
And it's a really heartwarming movie, let's say. It's this great movie where everyone comes together and helps each other and falls in love and life is beautiful. And you have no concept. You're going about your, your morning routine and this movie's in the background and you have no concept that there's a movie on in the background. You're just hearing all these wonderful things and then you're feeling all these wonderful things because that's how it works, right? And your mind is just like in this thing, in this whole experience, life's wonderful. But, you know, you have no clue that there's a movie playing. So it's just like we're completely consumed in that experience. It just looks like it's just what is. Same thing if you put on a horrible movie. If you put on a movie full of violence and betrayal and all of this, you know, dramatic stuff. If there's no sense that there's a movie, you're just hearing all of this. Life's horrible, right? Same life. You're still just walking around your house doing your morning routine. But but we, that's how it is in our own heads. See, we don't, we forget. Even when we know, we don't see that it's a movie. It's a movie. So... All of this stuff, Thomas, I mean, you're so not alone in this, right? We're all up against the exact same stuff. All of our heads work in the exact same way where you're saying things like, I think, I feel like I have to get it right the first time. And, and what if I mess up? And what if I get stressed out? I really want you to take this that next step further from what you've seen. You know your head has a big part in this or we wouldn't be talking right now. You wouldn't have written me the question. You know, you know that there's a big made up aspect of this. I want you and everyone watching to push it a little bit further and see that the whole thing's made up. It's a mind that just talks in circles. It says the same stuff over and over with different details and different content drawn in all the time, our entire lives. And seeing that is gigantic. Seeing that is gigantic because you get to have have two feet in reality. You know, we're not like, yeah, I know my mind's doing this, but this is really a problem. No, it stops looking like that. We really truly start seeing, I'm feeling my thinking, period. Nothing to do with the job. So Thomas, I don't know if you've started yet, or maybe you've just started, because I know this question's a few weeks old. Maybe you just started your job, but what I really want you to do now, before you start in the first few weeks of this new job, is notice what you're feeling whenever you notice it. Don't make it a don't make that another job, but just you'll notice what you're feeling. And remember, this is complete this has nothing to do with my job. I'm feeling my thinking over here. I'm feeling my thinking and my job is happening. Independent, totally independent. And see if you can get a feel for that. See if you can really feel into wow. My mind's creating this experience, and yes, I'm at a job, I'm doing stuff, I'm wanting to get it right, I'm a little nervous, but my mind is creating the experience, and that's what I'm feeling, is just where my mind happens to go, because that starts to really simplify things for you. It takes the job out of the equation, and it keeps you back here with, oh, okay, my mind's going, and hey, then you're just like all the rest of us, and you can really see that in a way that it's not so scary. You don't have to take it so seriously. Minds wander, they go. And I love, I wanted to point out in here also where you say, um, you're starting to dread it, but you really wanna be excited about it. You know, I get that. I think everyone probably does. But just see, well, you aren't even dreading it. Your mind is telling a dreadful story. Your mind is saying, what's gonna happen? I gotta get it right. That's not you. You you sound like you're pretty excited about the job. That's awesome. <laughs> your mind, when your mind goes to dreadful places, you dread it. Me too. When your mind goes to exciting places, you feel excited about it. All of us. So just kind of see again, this isn't about you and your job. It's just where your mind's going in each and every moment. So thank you guys for listening. Thanks for being flexible. I hope this shows up okay. Um, doing this on my phone. I gotta get my my uh, my camera on my laptop working. Um, but the Little School of Big Change opens October 1st. That's like really soon, a couple weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks maybe. Um, starting September 20th, there's gonna be a totally free four-part video series that it's like a training. It's two hours worth of videos. I've worked so hard on it all summer. You're going to love it. It's really, really good. So make sure if you have any interest in that or in the school, you get on the wait list for the school because then you'll, you'll be first to see those videos when they start on September 20th. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Mm -hmm.